Hi there, and welcome back to another time lapse expedition. Today we're gonna be covering tripping at the roots. Um, has nothing to do with the roots, actually, it's more so about the sky. And I am joined here by Dasuo. Hello, I'm the person who wrote the music in the background. And it's uh, part of an album I'm putting out this August. Um, my name is Hunter. <laughs> Did I already say that? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> I said it. What are you going to do? Um, I, we're so outside right now. Um, walking around. Looking at the night sky. The, the moon right now. It's a nice little sliver. I know. Uh, interesting thing that I actually know about this guy is that the, lo the moon doesn't have its own light source. It gets it from the sun. So the shadow part that we can't see is because the earth is covering that part of the direct light, only allowing us to see a portion of the moon. Wow. That's right, yeah. And we only ever get to see one part of the moon because the moon is actually not round. It's egg-shaped. So the, the side of the moon that we see is the same side that everyone else sees because it's the densest side and the side that's pulled by gravity. So there's an entire other side of the moon called, you know, the dark side of the moon. Um, at least that's what they call it. That we're probably never going to see unless we're astronauts. You know what? Let's, let's make a pact. Let's be astronauts someday and let's go see the dark side of the moon, yeah? In the words of Martin Luther King, I'm down. <laughs> Did you really see that? No. Oh. Okay. That'd be interesting if you did, though. It would be pretty neat, I suppose. Well, I also heard a little birdie told me that there was a comet strolling around in the sky sometime recently. It's a comet that's... This is its last appearance for another 6,500 years. And this, uh, yesterday, rather, it was the brightest than it's ever been before. Um, what else? Yeah, and it's a really unique sight that I'm sure a lot of people didn't see, but there's a lot you're not going to see in the 100 years you have on Earth. That's a good point. However, there's one really cool thing um, that I used to do when I would look up at the sky is I would climb up onto the very top of my roof, like it was slanted, right, because that's a roof, but I would sit on one side of it and sometimes I would smoke weed, sometimes I wouldn't, and I'd just sit up there with my earbuds and I'd like look at the silhouettes of all the houses and the stars and stuff like that because it just looked completely different than everything else that you would usually see. There was a mountain. Um, behind my old house that I used to climb up with my sister. We would look at the skylights, or rather the skyline. Um, you know, sometimes it would be a clear day and you would see the stars, a few helicopters. It's really a sight to see. That sounds really cool. Yeah, you could just live, like, live in, like, near mountains and stuff. You could like, go to the top of them, huh? Well, I lived at the base of some mountains, but the mountains were only a short hike up. There was also the hidden trail that I told you about. Uh, do we have enough time? Uh, yeah, we're just about hitting four minutes. Okay, well, uh, I don't want to fill this up with another anecdote, but going back to what I said earlier about the 100 years you have on Earth, it's further a reason you should cherish everything you see and every experience you have because you never know when that experience is going to be your last. I agree. And... Lately, every day that I've spent, I've been trying to make the most of it. And I'm pretty glad I've been hanging out with you for most of it. But I think that's about all the time that we have. So thank you for joining us. And uh, listen to my album, Acoustics 2, out uh, August 1st. Thank you. All right, and I'll see you guys next week on Friday. Uh, thanks for having me.